Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. We are currently first in line for takeoff. We ask that you please fasten your seatbelt and suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened as we may experience turbulence. Then for choosing endorphins airways. Enjoy your flight. Grand Terminal is a complex Eurorack module that together with a photo generator or any other oscillator represents a full modular synthesizer voice. It has a dual multimode filter, dual envelope generator and powerful stereo effect processor. Such set of blocks is extremely handy for live performance, having everything in yet compact but accessible way. Two identical envelopes in Grand Terminal are called Airplane A and B. With the blue knobs we are just time of attack and decay manual. When no cable is plugged into CV inputs, black knob change the shape of attack and decay slope from exponential to linear and to logarithmic. When you plug the patch cord into appropriate CV input, that black knob acts as a polarizer for incoming CV to modulate the time of each slope. Check in is a pulsed input, for example from your MIDI CV interface. End of stages is an output that generates a trigger when attack or decay of both stages are ended. With strip selector switch, we choose a mode for envelope. From sustained attack release in the right, to transient attack decay in the middle, to cycling mode into the left position. In different mode, checking input accepts either gate or trigger, to launch, sustain or restart the envelope. Exits are two buffered outputs, bipolar and unipolar, that's where the envelopes are generated from. That outputs are safe, just scale to be used as VCO or LFO in the range of plus minus 5 volts, or ordinary envelope from 0 to plus 5 volts. K-in is one volt per octal input that accepts positive voltages when the airplanes are in the cycling mode. So you are able to play melodies with around 6.5 octaves of control. Now let's pass to the gates. There are two multimode filters, labeled as gate A and gate B. Each of them has 8 different filter modes. Audio inputs are marked with to the gates. This is usually where you plug the oscillators or any audio source. Two small A and B trimmers adjust the level of audio input signal, so it's possible to connect any modular gear, as well as pro audio or consumer line level sources. Each filter has two knobs, X and Y. Red X knob is a filter cutoff frequency. The blue Y knob usually controls filter's resonance. that knobs become attenuators for that incoming CV. With following mode buttons we choose the filter type for gate A and for gate B. The row of four LEDs shows currently chosen filter type for every gate. A set of icons near each LED is associated with a certain filter type. If the LED is lighted up fully, then it corresponds to a lower row of filters, and if LED is dimmed, the filter corresponds to the upper row. To demonstrate the filter modes, we patch a pure sawtooth wave from the further, and the envelope modulates the filter's cutoff. Melody sequence is played by shuttle control. Transistor ladder based around 24 dB per octave mock filter. It gives a deep bass sound. 
That letter, based around 18 dB per octave EMS or Roland 303 letter filter. <laughs> Lopas gate with adjustable vectoral decay. You can pin it with a short pulses to obtain a bongo sound. With the blue eye knob you may control the decay of the vectoral or how fast the filter will close. Bukla Lopas gate with adjustable resonance. State variable low pass filter. Band pass filter. like in any mixture console. Volume regulation is from silent to a normal level at around 2 o'clock. Further turning of that knob increases the drive of the channel into heavy distortion. You will see red LED blinking when drive starts or green when volume returns to a normal level. Too much distortion may generate aliasing. The gates may be routed in parallel, stereo and serial modes with the lone follow me two buttons pressed. 
The final audio outputs are at the top of the module, stereo line out and mono modular level out, with the blue volume knob in the middle. Cabin pressure is a powerful stereo effect processor. It has eight different various effect types, from a huge hose to a twisted delays. We choose the effect type by pressing the type button. Afterwards, you will see the short blinking LED, which reminds you the currently chosen effect. Cabin pressure knob always defines the amount of dry or wet level of that effect. Cabin fever adjusts additional effect parameter, decay or feedback amount, tape or LFO speed and so on. Tab button also allows you to access in a secondary cabin fever function by holding it more than one second. For reverbs it's usually a fixed high-pass filter. Let's check the effects one by one with the same sequence. Whole reverb.
plus check the manual online at endorphin.es to add more options to your flight. Thank for choosing Endorphin Airways. Life is a trip.